Hello! Hello from New Orleans and my not as bad voice as last year. Last year was rough. <clears throat> we're creator friends and I simply cannot seem to keep quiet. But we're gonna do get ready with me. This is Amy! Hi! E, we've known each other for forever! I know. I'm so excited you're on my channel. It's like I feel like we were just talking and it's fine, but now I have butterflies in my stomach. <laughs> So we're having coffee and we're gonna get ready and we got some questions. Mostly Amy got some questions, but you're so nice to Amy. So I asked on my Instagram yeah. because you're not always so nice to me. Um, where, are the, where are the spicy questions? About the guys? spicy questions. So we're gonna get ready because we're having a resort cheek brunch. <laughs> that was very hard to find an outfit for. Oh, I got one that might <clears throat> stir people up. Let's start with your non-spicy ones. Oh, and if you hear something in the background, we are filming in this house. It is like 30, 40 girls here, so if you hear something, you are hearing something. That is absolutely correct. <laughs> we are not alone. Do you do your makeup really fast? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Well, maybe not when I don't have like my full mirror and everything in front of me. Mm, gotcha. I might be a little bit slower. So, the first question I got, well not the first, but the one I feel like will add relevance to this whole <laughs> situation is how do we meet? Oh, well, we met online first, like we just became friends online and we talked a lot. Like you, me and Karen had this group chat and then you met this man and you got so involved with him. I know, well, it, no, it wasn't that. The real, it's because my Marco Polo wouldn't work because my phone was too full. That is too storage. funny. So it wouldn't even let me open your guys' videos and I was like, oh, like I'm going to delete stuff and I'll get back to them and then I just... Is forget. that why? Because I was like, oh my god, she's really into this love life right now. Oh, Living the dream. No. <laughs> it's too many videos. It's less sexy. <laughs> it could be sexy. <laughs> I'm going to do brush maybe. I got, I got roasted because I was using a brush with my... As, like the tinted SPF, but I'm like, oh, this one has been washed. Hey, if it works, it works. But I'm like, I, I don't like using my fingers. I don't even like using my fingers for like, like primers. Yeah. I don't, it's not my journey. Really not. But then we went to New York together. Yes. And it was my first time ever leaving my son alone for a night. How was it? I don't so remember. Oh my God, we had so much fun. And the first thing I said when I met Amy was, wow, you're so tall. <laughs> I was like, you're so pretty. <laughs> but so are you. But you're so tall. I don't know why. You get this like notion of like how you think people are gonna look like in real life. Mm -hmm. And I just saw you as this like super like petite, super like short, like alley short. Yes. I don't know if I just get short girl energy. <laughs> Cause I get that comment a lot. Like I'll like talk about Maybe. meeting like, oh, like you guys have recommendations for like jeans for like really long legs, and people are like, I thought you were four nine. <laughs> yeah, but you're, yeah, you're like an Amazon or like a Glamazon. You're like super super tall. I already lost the lid. This is not going well. This is not going well. And then of course last year for last Korean friends too. Yes. But I feel like we bonded over like loving indie makeup so for much. sure. And there was a time when not a lot of people wanted to talk about indie makeup on yeah. the YouTube. I mean, I feel like now, like it's so much more accepted. It's more accepted, and I also think that people realize that there's like opportunities there, and like it's easier to connect with brands, and like it's a different community. But also sometimes like it is nice to be acknowledged and like mm -hmm. I feel like I could talk about Urban Decay all day and they're gonna be like oh, cool. heart, heart, heart my story and be like cool. Cool, then it cool story bro. Say, like, oh like I really enjoyed this like thanks for posting it yada yada. And it's like, thanks. I don't film with a ring light because I feel like a ring light just smooths and blurs everything out because we're using a ring light now because we're borrowing it but I don't ring light was never my favorite as soon as what I do you use then I use a, um, a big LED screen that's like and I use side lights because I feel like, like a it's, panel yeah a panel and then I have small panels from the side so it doesn't get so flat gotcha I have like a big window in front of me so mm -hmm. I try to film with just my softbox lights when I can and then I'll turn on my green light if I need mm. to. But if I can get away from not using it, I will. I mean, I have a big window, but I don't like being dependent on... First of all, natural light is so flattering. Mm -hmm. If you are inside a window in natural light, like that is the most flattering light. 
It's better than any other light. And the people are like, oh my god, it's so beautifying. You're like, you should show the real you in, in, in like, the natural light. But, like, natural light, if you get that right, that is the most beautifying light out there. It will literally blur your skin and make you look prettier. Yeah. But also, you're so dependent on it being exactly the weather that you need it to be. Oh, and if, like, the, it's cloudy? Or if you want to film at night, good luck. And then, it, like, your background turns dark and it feels like you're in the dungeon. That's me in Sweden all over again. It's okay, I used to film in the basement. Did you? Yeah. You know, like, when I had, like, the brick wall behind me? Is that a basement? It was a basement. It was, like, the tiniest little corner, like, just very oh cold. God. <laughs> I got a comment from a started comment from once. the bottom. Now we're here. <laughs> yes, that's how it feels. Cause now I have like an office, and mm -hmm. my partner like did a warden bat in the wall. Mm -hmm. and, like it's super cute. But I started off with a brick wall behind me, and I had a comment once that it looked like they were watching beauty YouTube from jail, and they liked it. <laughs> okay. I, feel I, like I wasn't offended. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it's one of those things like. You know, I'll take it. <laughs> yeah, I guess I feel like my old background, like it was so dark. And I know some people really loved it, but damn, it was really hard to get the colors right. If you look at my old videos, I was gray. Like actually gray. I thought it was just like a little grungy. Like, it was like that I was gray? <laughs> no! <laughs> it was an aesthetic. I do like a dark, like a dark background and a dark room. And like, I'm not like the person that likes a white wall. But like it was so hard to get the colors right. Mm -hmm. Everything became so contrasty. And then if it was like a, a nice day outside and it's light in the background, all of a sudden the colors look this way. And then, uh, oh my god, it was a mess. Did not love that. I feel like we all do that. We look at our old videos and we're like, Ooh, why were you doing that? <laughs> you look at your old eyebrows and you're like, that was a choice. Why didn't anyone stop me? Like just like take the eyebrow pencil out, the dip brow out of my hand. These brows do not need dip brow. And it's like if somebody can somebody be like, so what? What happened? Like what's going on yeah, with this caterpillar? Like situation? an eyebrow intervention. <laughs> yes, I needed that. And oh, I think back. I went to Sephora and I remember the employee being like, "Oh, I love your eyebrows." I'm like, what's she think? Or did, so, oh, did she also did she say that and then just like turn away and go? <laughs> There's no way. <laughs> she was like, she looks like she needs help. <laughs> Let me show you in the direction to the bra parts. <laughs> she said they look good. Wait, slow down. Blend slower. What's your favorite thing about each other? Oh my god! <laughs> I mean, <clears throat> work-wise or like just personality-wise? Um, I would, I would, I'll say person, well, yeah, go where your heart takes you. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, personality-wise, I think that you're always so positive, but you also don't shy away from saying what you think, which I think work-wise shows more on your channel now. I feel like you're not afraid to say what you think on your channel. Mm -hmm. And I also really respect that you seem to do the videos that that you're like, this is exactly what I want to do a video on right now. Mm -hmm. And I feel like there's a lot of people that get caught, I mean, me too sometimes, they get caught in this like, oh, what do people want to see? Instead of like, what do I actually want to do? Because it always ends up, some, not always, sometimes, it ends up being that they connect. Like what you want to do and what people want to see might actually be like the perfect combo. Yeah, I feel like I try to keep a balance <laughs> because Obviously, you want to do things that, like, you know your audience will enjoy, but then at the same time, I'm like, I just want to sit down and I want to talk about whatever I want to talk about today. Mm -hmm. My favorite thing about you, what I was going to say is just, like, I just really admire you. Like, I feel like, as a woman, like, I feel like you're just, like, you're, do you curse on your channel? You do, right? I can, I can bleep it otherwise. Oh, I was going to say you're a badass bitch. Oh, that you can say. Is that cursing in the U.S.? I don't know. I'm, I grew up religious. <laughs> Everything is cursing. I'm like trying to get it out of my system. Everything is <laughs> okay. Well, I wasn't. <laughs> yeah, oh, I just you. I feel like I admire you, and I feel like 
the path that you've taken and I just like you're such a good businesswoman and entrepreneur and I don't feel like I have that many women in like my personal life mm. who have taken that route. They're like go-getters. They're we're more like, oh, like I'm a wife and a mom. And, you know, that's, mm. that's, that's, Which that's is also that's amazing. Like, yeah. that's, that's perfect. All like, paths are great happy. if it's the path you chose yourself for yourself. But I also think there's just value in being able to have different women in your life mm -hmm. that you can look up to and think, well, I want to be this amazing mom. I want to have lots of babies, mm -hmm. but I also want to be... Lots of like, babies? Well... Let us play quickly. I don't... <laughs> I just love babies. Yes. <laughs> um, Can't relate. <laughs> no, I know. It's it's crazy because I feel like like some people just have that and some people don't. Yeah. Like, it's like even when I would, like my son was super tiny and I mm -hmm. would go to a party and I'd actually have like space from him. Like there was a baby there and I was like, give it to me. And then he fell asleep and I held him like the whole if time. If someone gives me a baby, I'm like, I'm like this. You sure about this? I saw, I saw my boyfriend hold a baby for the first time last week. Oh, it was over. I'm out. It was over. I'm out. It was over. <laughs> oh my God. I will say also, like, one of the things that I really admire about you is one of the things that I admire about my mom as well, and it's like that you both, and I've told my mom this, you recognize that you were in a bad situation, and you were strong enough to be like, I don't want this for myself, and even though it's, like, difficult, or, <sighs> I don't want to say messy, but, like, sometimes when you make big changes, you're like, this is going to be a lot worse before it gets a lot better, mm -hmm. and still doing the thing. I've told my mom something I really, like, respect what she did, but you did that for you as well, and you did that young. Yeah. I mean, it takes a lot of guts. I honestly owe it to my son, I feel like. Yeah. Like, I think, like, when you have a kid, it's just, like, I couldn't choose better for myself, but I could choose better for him. Hmm. I'm like, I keep checking what step you're on, like. Well, yeah. my brows take forever, so don't worry about oh, that. Oh, perfect. My brows are so fast. Okay, I got this question. It's a little funny. What do you do when parts of your audience and not annoys you somehow? Um, block? No, I'm just kidding. No, I normally just like complain <laughs> to my partner. I like that. But I, I go on poll them. I'm like, these bitches. <laughs> yeah. Um, I feel like everyone gets annoyed by things, and I don't think that like. I don't think that you, as an audience, are surprised when we say that sometimes you read a comment or sometimes you see something online that just makes you like, oh, I can't believe that that person said that. Mm -hmm. I think what really annoys an audience is when you complain about it to them. Yeah, they because don't care. The bigger part of the audience is not like that. Mm -hmm. they, and they don't... I think it's the same as... And the, I like this is something that I think a lot of YouTubers will learn the hard way, me included. Sometimes when you, and I use the word complain very loosely here because I don't know exactly if that's the word I'm looking for, but again, sometimes with English, I don't find the word that I'm looking for. Mm -hmm. When a YouTuber complains about low views. Oh. Because the ones that see the complaints are the ones that are actually viewing. So it's reaching the wrong people. Yeah, I also feel like it doesn't actually do anything productive. No. Like, just talk to your friends about it. Oh my god. And we do. <laughs> I mean, if you write something really... I don't want to say obnoxious, but like sometimes it's it's questionable things that we get. It's not often. I don't I, I don't get it often. I should I should Same. make it sound like it happens a lot. I'll if it's really horrible, I'll delete it. Sometimes when it's really bad, that's when I like to share it because I'm like this is comical. Like I can't just keep this to myself. Yeah. But but sometimes if it's just if it's just comical, I'll just share it with my friends. Mm -hmm. or if it's friends. like full on offense. <laughs> I love that little green circle. <laughs> it doesn't matter what I'm doing. If I open Instagram, I see a green circle. I'm like, <laughs> let's go. It is a good one for sure. But also like, if it's truly like offensive, like sometimes people will talk shit about like my family, my husband, oh, yeah. my that friends. I'll just delete it because it's like, well, if, if you want to tell someone that you dislike them and you feel the need to say it out loud, at least have the guts to say it to their face. Yeah. Don't back talk my friends or my husband to me on my channel. It's like coming to someone's living room and 
putting up a post-it on the wall saying your fence sucks and then expect me to keep it there. Uh, I'm removing that post-it, thank you very much. Yeah. This is my living room and this is my friend and like we're never going to be friends. Because <laughs> when people are like, why did you delete the comment? It's like, that's my channel. I didn't want to have that about someone I like or yeah. something that's like truly offensive or not and true. Also, like if you have constructive criticism for me, it makes sense for you to post it in my comment section and oh. I can see it and, yeah. you know, But when people take talk it shit about me in third person, I'm like, who are you talking to right now? Oh, I hate that. I hate that when people comment or like, she's so annoying. It's like, she's she, me. She's you. <laughs> she reads all her comments. Well, it doesn't make any sense to have like any crit crit criticism or like negativity towards my friends on my comments. Cause like, what am I gonna do? Like pass it along to them? I have always, uh, yeah. Did you know that this person's, I've always said that like, what I would hate is for any creator or any family member or my husband or anyone to go into my channel and accidentally read something negative about them on my channel. Cause like, again, if, Let's say that I invited my best friend to my living room and there was this little note that a stranger left and I'm like, oh, I didn't want to throw it away because it was a gift. And it's like, well, the gift says that I'm horrible. Why would you keep yeah. this? So it would just like make your actual friend sad. Mm -hmm. And I honestly think also in like as a, as a friendly reminder, if, if you have a friend that is talking nicely about someone else, don't backtalk that person. They already told you that they like that person. If you yeah. want to back talk that person, don't do it to the friend. Like, it's just weird. It's like, why would you do that? That's just going to make you excluded. Like, if I had a best friend and I introduced them to someone else and they're like, then told me I don't like your best friend. Guess what? Guess who's... They're already my best friend. Yeah, it's like, guess who's getting deleted from that it's equation? Like, you're, <laughs> yeah, like, like, you're already out of that equation. Like, you buy. <laughs> I also just feel like some people don't realize the experience of going in someone else's comment section even if it's not mm. like your friend or like someone you know i think that like there's youtubers where like i enjoy looking through their comments mm -hmm. and then there's other ones where like i look I would in their never. comment section and it makes me just feel like mm -hmm. this pit in my stomach i'm like mm -hmm. everyone is so negative everyone's so mean because that's the bad kind of compliment i get sometimes they're like i like you so much better than this and that oh i hate that like give me a compliment without putting somebody else down i i don't i don't know if i like that this makes me feel uncomfortable. This mirror is not. I'm like, my arm is not long enough for me. No, I, this, this is what I'm using. Someone said, what are each of your favorite tattoos that you have? Mm. Mine's the one that we're gonna get. <laughs> Valid. <laughs> Valid. <laughs> like, if, <laughs> like this video, I we should get a matching tattoo. That's going quick. I love the idea of getting more tattoos. I got a lot, of, a lot, of, but I have, I have eight separate tattoos. I think I have eight too. Mm. And and I got them all in a, I want to say like a somewhat close enough time. Like it was all in my somewhat early twenties. But then for one reason or another, I never got any more. It's like really? it was like I was done. And I don't really know why because I don't really feel like I'm done. Do you get like a tattoo itch? When I see other people getting a tattoo. Because, like, all of my tattoos were, like, I did three in a row, and then I didn't do any for years. And then I did yeah. another three in a row. Same. Like, same. super close. Same. I even did two at the same time. <laughs> I did the one I have here and the one I have here within two days of each other. Yeah, I did, I did this one, and then the one that I have on my ribs. That is probably my favorite one at the same time. Like, at the same city. Where, where is it exactly? Oh my god. I feel like my posture is not. Oh. It says, Oh, that's Just beautiful. <laughs> I could have said anything. <laughs> I could have blurred out whatever I wanted. It's Latin for even I in Arcadia. And I is, it's a memento mori. And our, uh, I is death. And it's even in paradise, there's death. Oh. It's very deep. It's very dark. Gotcha. If you've read uh, Holy Blood, Holy Grail, it's oh. part, it's very prominent in that book. Doesn't Heather have like, um, Memento Amore or something like in Latin, like something like that? Does Heather have that too? Maybe yeah. I'm thinking of someone else. I feel like this is very un Heather. <laughs> I don't know why. I feel like I've seen her naked a lot. Okay, that came out wrong. <laughs> There's somebody who's an influencer who has the same tattoo as Juan. Huh. Because he has that. It's in Latin and it's like 
something about like dying. I don't know. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, but that's I also interesting. have um, I have one right here, which is just Roman's birthday and Roman oh, that's numerals. Nice. Oh, that's. Oh. Yeah, uh, uh. <laughs> I'm that person, and maybe that's from like dating photographers back in the day. They always told me that like it's quantity over quality over quantity when it comes to pictures and it's like yeah if you take 200 pictures one of them will be good but the true the true um talent it's taking mm -hmm. one picture and knowing that that one is good enough so i <laughs> when i take a picture i try to like just take that does not go for my husband though i don't trust him he doesn't no. Oh, no, oh, no, no, no 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 he's taking pictures of my outfit i'm like why are we done already Yes. You, you could not have taken more than 20 pictures at that time. It's so annoying because I feel like like whenever we go places, like I take like these cute candid photos of my man and then I like look at- I'm like, do this exact photo of me and it's yeah. not the same. It's not it's candid, not it's not good, he's not capturing it. And also, when he actually gets me in frame, I look like this. Or I'm like, just when I'm drinking and it's like... <laughs> it's like, why would I want that? Why did you think that this photo was a good idea? What are we doing here? We were we were in the mountains last week and I was like, oh, I want one of those cute pictures where I'm like looking at the mountains and like, you know, my hair is not like, you know, a little aesthetic and like in the picture I'm like doing this and like my hair is like crossed like, cross this way and I'm like, <laughs> I was like, this is not what I wanted to do. Okay, they said you both started YouTube like six plus years ago, but at very different ages. What's the difference in your experience? That's a very good question. Huh. I feel for me, and I can only speak for me, like, I feel like one of the upsides of me starting YouTube, uh, yeah, I'm gonna be using my little baby, um, one of the thing, upsides of me starting YouTube a little later in life is that I felt so confident when it came to, like, all of those things, like, I don't want to say shit talking, but like drama between YouTubers versus YouTubers, viewers versus YouTubers, mean comments. And there were so many things that didn't I feel affect me because I'm like, well, I've already this this era. I've already like been through this almost with other workplaces, and I didn't, I didn't like it didn't affect me at all. I felt very secure in myself, um, and like in my in my knowledge and like what I can do. So for that reason, I didn't feel like I didn't feel like I needed to be a certain way. I I feel like I started out being very confident from the get go, mm -hmm. because I was already at that age, like mid thirties, where I'm like I don't give a flying fluff. I don't you know, care. You know who you are. I know too. who I am, and like nobody online. I should be using some other shadows too, but nobody online can tell me something about myself like I already know myself so I feel like when you're younger like I know because I started modeling in my early 20s and I was much more perceptive to other people's opinions about me then mm -hmm. and then when I started on YouTube I was just not as open to hearing that out I was like no I'm not I'm not interested in that perspective whatsoever that makes sense I feel like that's a really good answer because I only feel like it's been maybe the last like year or two years that I actually feel like truly like myself and like I don't have to sit here and be like everything is good mm. like I just feel like more like I'm not I'm just me because I feel like there's a lot of youtubers that have had that arch almost where mm -hmm. they are like this is what I think the internet expects of me and how I have to be yes uh, or not not like, because I feel this way both about you and also about Samantha, that mm -hmm. you, it's not like the thing you were showing online wasn't you. It was still you. It was just like a prim proper it was, version of you. It, it's, it was just like one part of you. And mm -hmm. now both you and Samantha are showing all parts of you. And I feel, and I feel maybe that with me as well, that I didn't truly maybe be as like, I don't want to say cocky, but like as blunt as I am now. And maybe I wasn't that in the beginning. Or maybe I, actually I may have toned it I down a little bit. A I think I toned it down a little bit actually. But it's like, you sometimes maybe don't understand yourself until you are online for a bit. That like, oh, I can actually show all aspects of myself. Mm -hmm. I don't need to just show this one. 
Perfect. You know what's really interesting is I feel like people will say like, oh, like what's your experience meeting YouTubers in person, like mm -hmm. other influencers, are they who you think, you think they'll be? And, and I feel like everyone I've met is even better in person because they don't have that worry. Like mm -hmm. they're not on camera. Like they don't have to watch everything they say yeah. or how people are going to judge them. Like they know they're in a safe space and their personalities are just like shining. Yeah, I agree. I actually feel like you are one of the people that is the most like just the way you are on camera is exactly how you are in real life. I feel like other Thank people, you. you can see them come out of their shell more mm -hmm. when there's not a camera on. Because I sometimes get this comment, they're like, I wish that, um, usually it's in third person, I wish that she would stop like doing those like facial expressions or like little faces because we all know it's fake. I do that all the time. <gasps> or when people say like, oh, you're not really gasping over that. I'm like, yes, I am. I'm um, obsessed with makeup. <laughs> You, I showed something to two YouTubers yesterday, something I unfortunately cannot talk, show you yet, and both of them gasped, and there was no camera around! <laughs> I know, it's like if we see something, we're like giggling, we're like... Mm. It's sometimes like brands will show me stuff behind the scenes, and I'm like... <gasps> but also sometimes mm. I do see people go like, they'll like do like one little tap of an eyeshadow, and they go... <gasps> yeah. Oh my god, no. I can't. It's too good. <laughs> My affiliate link is down below. <laughs> I already know that this is my favorite. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I also think that like one of the things with me coming in later uh, with YouTube is that like when I started, I didn't know people can make money on YouTube, but I was already making good money working my corporate job. So mm -hmm. I didn't really care. Like it wasn't, I, I never made content be like oh this i can link this i have a code for because it didn't really matter to me if i made money or not because i wasn't depending on that whatsoever and of course like now i am depending on the viewership to be able to like pay my bills mm -hmm. but i also think that like sometimes when i saw things online i'm like oh like sometimes you can clearly see that some things are created simply for that reason which i honestly don't think now i don't think it's a bad thing but i remember when i started i was like wow this is just but like it's because people came in with a different viewpoint than me that like well i need to make this work otherwise i can't and i think that i was way more judgmental when i started out youtube mm. on like the reasons why people did youtube the, the reasons why people did the the choices that they did and i feel like i am so much more understanding now of the different because I was very privileged having the time and the resources to do YouTube as much as I wanted mm -hmm. and still having a full-time income from a job and also being able to buy all the makeup I wanted because I already had, like, I wasn't depending on that. And I feel like I was so much more judgmental when I started off YouTube than what I am now. That escalated quickly. No, it's beautiful. Like, since I started making money on YouTube, I've depended on it, but I've also always had, like, a mm -hmm. side gig, something along the way, so that it's never I've been... I've like, been through all Amy side gigs. Mm -hmm. There's been... There's been some questionable <laughs> ones. I also feel like there's, there's like, a different vibe in the beauty yeah. space mm -hmm. versus other social media, because I watch some, you know, different genres, what you and... Um, okay, well, I love ASMR. Wow, that's so fascinating. I just, well, I think it really helps with my anxiety. Oh, I can see that. When I lay in I bed, I'm like, oh, like, this went wrong, and that's coming up, and I'm worried about this, and I'm worried mm. about that. But then when I'm, like, just listening to, like, some, like, relaxing sounds, like, my mind is focused on that instead of, like... That's how I explain to my husband that, like, for me... The only way, I love multitasking, so I always do two things at the same time. And I've explained to him, the only way that I can stop thinking about work is if I do two non-work things at the same time. Because my brain cannot take on a third thing. Mm. So I will watch TV while playing mobile games, and you might think that it's rude of me to not fully concentrate on one or the other, but if I only watch the movie, I'm going to think about work. Wait, I do the same thing. Cause because I can't fit a third thing. Match, right? No, not sponsored, but when, not when, sponsored. You, when you had the video with them, I was like, wait, I love that game. I I started playing it when I got sponsorship. I'm at like, I'm at like, level like 1400. <gasps> oh, I think I'm more than that. I am so bad. And also Jean's Journey, I like, I, I'm sponsored by them. But again, this isn't sponsored. The I, I go in and I master all of them. I get full stars of all of them. And my husband's like, you know, it's okay to just finish one and go to the next one. I'm like, I need to. Okay, we need to compare where we are. Yeah, where are we? 
Jeez. <laughs> right. Now I know that's what right. <laughs> This is how we know that I love it. I'm at 2,200. I'm at 1,400. And I play this way too much. Way too much. Oh, I feel so sometimes, when I'm like, sometimes when I'm procrastinating, I'm like, I need to film this video. So, or like edit this video. So I'm like, if I like get through this one portion with this product, I get to play one round. Yeah, I do that too, but 10 rounds. But let me show you, because like at these two games, I found them, but before I only played this game, because I really, really like it, the Homescapes, I really like it. Have you played it? Am I I've no, I've seen advertisements for it. But... I've played this before, I've played this for like almost 10 years. Oh. I want to see what level I'm at. Oh my god, am I going to... But you're a something? gamer. It, but like, not maybe this kind of game. <laughs> That's five digits. That is not 1,400, that is 14,400. Oh, I was saying, like, I almost feel like, maybe this is bold to say, but I feel like maybe there's some sexism happening with how people react to women getting sponsorships in the beauty community, yeah, yeah. because I feel like there's a lot of other genres that are very, like, male-based, or, like, you know, like, yeah. and they just, like, they'll do sponsorships about anything, like, it doesn't have anything to do with their content, and there's, there's no hate to be seen. And also, like, and I don't want to be bragging, but I get... I work with a management that literally pitch me about seven to eight sponsorships a month. A, a week. A week. A week. And you see how many I do. Sometimes I'll do three one month, sometimes I'll do one one month. Like, you can imagine the amount of sponsorships where I'm like, no, 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 no. Mm -hmm. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do that. So it, it really has to be something where I'm like, you know what? This sounds like an interesting product. Like with these mobile games, like I'm like, let, let me download them and see if they're fun because I love mobile games and I ended up loving them. Give it, a try. it doesn't mean that I haven't been approached by other things or other even gaming things where I'm like, no, I actually would never use something like this. Mm -hmm. I don't think that this is like, and even though it's gaming inspired and I love gaming, it still doesn't like make sense. But yeah, I definitely, I mean, we all need to pay our bills somehow. <laughs> like, what are we going to do? Yeah. Just told you yesterday that my dog had a surgery and it was two thousand dollars <gasps> was it okay not really. which baby was it tesla he has to have another surgery a bigger surgery so i'm guessing more than two thousand dollars and it's like i mean what am i gonna do i i need to pay for it yeah and this insurance is like well maybe we can cover some of it what would you say then like you starting youtube what would you say did you have any advantages being like young starting because I feel like in the whole group that we were talking about and like even in this house, you were always the baby. Maybe not as much now as it was well, when we started. I mean, I think there is an advantage of being younger and having all like older, not older like in a bad way, but just... No wrinkles. No, like with women, <laughs> women, <laughs> no mature women who you can look up to and mm -hmm. who will give you like solid advice because I think that if I was like talking to a bunch of other like 26 year old like social media people mm -hmm. they might not give you the best advice or be the best influence it's like oh like th someone did something shady like respond like you know when like friends oh, will like yeah. kind of encourage that and I feel like when you have someone who's you know frontal lobe has been developed for a hot minute they're gonna have better advice <clears throat> and I also think with like because I see a lot of you I mean I've seen youtubers and you as well come and go Mm -hmm. during these and like you've seen some like drama about youtubers they're clearly just burnt through all the money they made or made poor financial decisions or mm -hmm. poor tax decisions and i feel like maybe if you are younger and you have someone that's a little older to talk to you're less prone to make those kind of mistakes yeah i agree because like i always knew well, even when i started making money on youtube i'm like i knew it instantly I do need to pay taxes for this. Yes, yes, same. Like there was never a question in my mind and I instantly knew like, oh, I need to keep tabs on how much I'm spending, how much I'm getting in. Like I need to save receipts, I need to get an accountant. Like mm -hmm. all of those things I already knew because I was in my mid thirties. And for me, it was like something that I did proactively. Oh, and like, I feel like you've talked about it many times. Like mm -hmm. I think you like mentioned, oh, like this for taxes or that for taxes. And there's a lot of people who don't say anything ever. Oh, Lordy. <laughs> I was like, why are you looking at me like that? He was like, yeah, I do talk about taxes. <laughs> I do talk about taxes. <laughs> oh my God, why did I get red eyeshadow on my 
Yeah, because I feel like sometimes people are like, oh, there's so much money coming in. And it's like, well, you need to pay taxes on it. And, and like, well, I never knew, like, so if you accept product in exchange for a post mm -hmm. instead of being paid, then you have to pay the taxes on mm -hmm. that as if that was your payment. Yeah. I don't want to do that. Oh, so I'm not doing that. that. No, that's horrible. I don't want to, I don't want to have to pay taxes on something that's not actually. And it's also like, money. sometimes it's like, maybe not even the, the thing you wanted to have. Yeah, or like nobody's asking for this. Yeah. Nobody wants to know about it. Like, I'm doing you a favor. Mm -hmm. I was going to say, my, the craziest sponsorship that I've ever like had been proposed to do. Mm. No, it's gross. <laughs> I shouldn't. Mm. <laughs> no, um. I, I'll take my um back. <laughs> they wanted me to do a makeup tutorial on like how to do makeup on a blow up doll. They said, we're going to pay you well. I was like, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> What were they hoping to gain from? What kind of audience did they think you have? That's what I questioned. I well, I did get asked once if I could, um, if I could uh, in a get ready with me, if I could demonstrate an air fryer. I'm like, how? I could do that so easy. Let's have a never break. <laughs> Halfway through, I'm like, I'm starving. I'm gonna need an arepa. I'll be back. <laughs> Business advice for Cinch going forward. From oh my god, you know the only time I ever get jealous when people get like a PR package or something is when there's food in it, like when there's like cookies or like brownies. I just got cookies from Makeup Revolution. They look very crusty. My husband ate them. He's not picky. I want, I want them. I don't care if they're bad. I want a cookie. Maybe I should include Swedish candy. <gasps> that would be so cute. Why are you so excited? <laughs> but what if it's licorice? I'll take it. <laughs> I guess there's somewhere. <laughs> I guess. Ooh, brands you would never work with. <gasps> I love that trend. There's so many. I feel like my top that I'm like absolutely not ever is any of those like teas or like greens or like, I don't know. I'm just like, that's not. I get pitched at least once or twice a week uh, dietary supplements to work with. At least once or twice a week. Yeah, I'm not about that. Not my journey. At all, yeah. Uh, any dietary supplements, it's not for me. I, I get pitched at a lot. I don't know what about me is like screaming. She wants to talk about hair growth pills or oh. probiotics or collagen drinks or whatever else bullshit's not working. Like I'm not, not about not that. Doing that. Also, like Timu Shein, isn't she glam? Like Shein's makeup yeah. brand. Oh, they messaged me a lot. I'm like, no. Oh my god. Do you know what they will pay you? Oh, yeah. Sometimes they offer so much money. So I like, I don't blame people. Again, listen, we gotta pay our bills. And if you got demonetized for like something on YouTube and you need to pay your bills, like, mm -hmm. listen, we all need to pay our bills. But yeah, it's not for me. Brands you would like to work with then. Like, who would you, not like specific brands, but what kind of products would you like to be reached out with? For I mean, like, <laughs> grammar, <laughs> I just mostly like if I can talk about any like indie brands or like small oh, okay. businesses, I feel like that just goes right along with mm -hmm. what I'm already doing. But I feel like I feel like indie brands don't sponsor videos that often. Yeah, like it's kind of just here and there, like every once in a while. It's not that often, no. Ooh, is there a makeup product that for whatever reason you were never able to purchase that you still think about? The one that got away because I I have one. Oh really? And I know you own it. Okay, then I I think, and this is gonna be me guessing. It's gonna be the deep sea crushers. Yeah. <laughs> I don't oh my god. god! You're like, please. I still think about it. Oh my god, that's too funny. That is too funny. Um. Honestly, I don't think so. You're like, I'm sad. I have enough. I mean, is there something, are there things that I wanted that I ended up not buying? Yes. Are there things that I wanted that I ended up not buying that I regret not buying? I'm not sure. Because like there's so much good makeup that comes out all the time. It's not like, it's not like there's a shortage of good makeup. And even makeup that like, color stories that you're like, oh my god, that's so unique. There's gonna be something similar in a couple of years. Sometimes, maybe not exactly in formulas, but like nothing is like irreplaceable. Mm -hmm. I would say. I don't know if there's anything that's like, oh, I wish I had that. 
There was definitely, like, when I started YouTube, there's definitely some, like, brands that I just couldn't get hold of. But, like, do I want them now? Oh. Not really. Are there any brands that now that you're in the U.S., you miss and you can't get a hold of? I don't really know, honestly. Sometimes I miss, like, just going into, like, the Swedish makeup stores and just seeing the things. But, like, mm -hmm. I will say changed so much the last... I lived there that it was almost like the same brands as you found here. I would say one difference is uh, LH Cosmetics. So you can't find that in store here. You can mm -hmm. find it in store in Sweden and that's nice. But other than that, I don't know. It's mostly candy. Yeah. I mostly miss candy. What is that? Which one is that? It's the Charlotte Icon Baby. It's one of the new ones? Mm -hmm. mm. I was gonna say, because I feel like that new collection with the pinks is up your alley. Mm -hmm. So I saw a redhead, like a pale redhead on TikTok, mm. try this lipstick, and then I like literally went and bought it right away. Really? It's gritty. It's really gritty, but it's really pretty. <laughs> and if you put a lip gloss over it, it doesn't feel as gritty. But I wore it yesterday, and I like I forgot about the grit as soon as I was like doing other things. Oh, okay. Gritty? Yeah, like... Do you see that? Oh my god. I think that... it's supposed to make it look sparkly or something. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, well, what do you know? I got a question now that was something you hate in the beauty influencer community. Mm. It's hard because I feel like I have like a lot of pet peeves, but then I'm like, something I hate, like that feels more intense. Maybe when people like view each other as competition yeah. instead of like building relationships and like you don't have to be best friends but I feel like if you view the other people online as your colleagues yeah it'll get you further especially with just like even like if you don't like someone or you don't like the way that they act online I think still being respectable or, or sort of like respectful <laughs> so being respectful goes a long way yeah, and I also feel like, <clears throat> you know, sometimes people are like, oh, I wish the beauty YouTubers would just do it because it's fun. I feel like almost sometimes I'm the opposite. And this isn't beauty influencers, it's influencers. I wish some influencers would see this as a job even more. If you're no longer making money in this job, maybe you need to get another one. Mm -hmm. Stop begging people for money. Stop like doing those Twitch, not Twitch streams, TikTok streams, asking for money. If, if your job no longer pays you, then you need another job. Mm -hmm. If you went to your nine to five job and your boss was no longer paying your salary, you would search for another job. You wouldn't be like, oh my God, I need to make this work. Yeah. Like, I wish that people would be a little bit more reasonable with that. It's a great job, but if it's no longer paying you, you need another job. Mm -hmm. It's not that deep. Or just, you know, something supplemental. Yeah, something, exactly. Wow, this is intense. Okay, let's change into our outfits. Okay. I mean, my hair is not brushed and I am still wearing my sweatpants, but here we are! Already? Already done! We're having a brunch. We're sore cheek. Yes. I feel like we're nailing it. I think so. I tried really hard. <laughs> <laughs> this was not effortless. <laughs> Did not wake up like this. <laughs> But thank you so much for the questions. Don't forget to check out Amy down below. We will be filming a video for Amy's channel as well, mm -hmm. uh, which might be even spicier. We're gonna talk about how the indie community and indie be like beauty makeup brands have changed since we started reviewing them a long time ago. So yeah, check out her video as well. Thank you so much for thank being you. here.